Well, Mandy and Vic, we're here at the Gravoy Plaza where dozens of stores were hit late Monday night into early Tuesday. Take a look here at City Gear. You can see it was boarded up late this afternoon and then the shattered glass still here on the ground. So that cleanup will continue. But one local construction company wants to give back by helping those businesses who can't afford to board up. It was a day of cleaning and boarding up. Dozens of businesses in St. Louis area that were looted. The burglaries took place Monday night into early Tuesday, following a night of peaceful demonstrations over the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Nicholas Long, who owns a local contracting company, showed up at the Gravoy Plaza Wednesday afternoon to offer his services at no cost. Then we'll just pay it forward. We don't want to charge anybody a dime. Anything, whether it's boarding up, if they need help with fixing anything inside, you know, we're willing to come through, do anything we can to help any of these businesses. Workers from various construction companies replace windows and doors on almost every store in the shopping plaza. Stores like City Gear, Shoe Carnival, Rainbow and America's Best. Looters took thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. Long is wondering if the stores will be able to rebound. We support everything as far as um, the protest goes. 100% support everything. But as far as going through and busting out the businesses and breaking all the windows, these are, a lot of these are family owned businesses. They can't afford to lose anything. They already don't have any money because the past couple months they've been closed. Long says for those businesses that still need help boarding up, you can reach out to his company. Live in South St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.